All right, Russell, first off, just talk a little bit about, um, you know, about this time last year. You verbally committed to the Spartans. And now what's it like uh, that it's a reality, and, and why did you choose to stick with Michigan State? Um, it, it's just fun, you know, being, you know, knowing for a year that's what I wanted to do is just is a good feeling. And uh, um, I just can't wait to get up there. I can't wait to, to play at, the, at Breslin Center. And, uh, you know, just the guys up there really were the, the factor, you know, and coaches uh, that, you know, that I mean, made my decision. Um, it's a brotherhood up there, and I can't wait to be a part of it. And, you know, coaches is a great coach, and I just can't wait to play for him. What was the recruiting process like? Because I remember we talked to you uh, a couple summers ago, and it was, you know, Arizona, uh, Iowa, a bunch of schools from across the board. What was that process like, and what did Michigan State identify in you that they said that they really liked about your game? Um, the ability to shoot the ball. You know, his, his offense is a lot of screens, and they get guys open. You know, I can knock down those shots for them. And, uh, you know, just the way I play, you know, hard nose. you know, they have hard-nosed players, you know, guys that just play tough all the time. And, you know, going back, you know, two years, um, it was crazy. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. But, you know, going on those visits, you know, really getting to know the people that were recruiting me, what kind of people they were, I knew I, I knew what I was going to do. So, What was it like when they first approached you? Because, uh, you know, obviously we've seen what that program can do, get to the Final Four, get to the championship game. Uh, what was it like when uh, you were like, wow, Michigan State is interested in me? It was surreal. You know, I, I, when I was sitting across from coaches I was like you know I, I couldn't believe this was, this was coaches you know the guy that I watched you know Saturdays you know coach versus you know all the Big Ten schools and um, it was cool at first but you know it settled in and, you know I, it just it made me want to work even harder you know just you know be the best player I could be for him you know when people sign uh, they always kind of say it takes the pressure off do you feel like the pressure's off just a little bit for you heading into your senior season because people are expecting big things from this uh, Blackhawk team yeah um and they should, you know, this is going to be a good team. You know, we really have had a lot of players work their tails off this summer. And, you know, the pressure was kind of off last year after I committed. You know, this is all fun, and, you know, I'm glad this, uh, you know, I got this over with. And it's, it's a good day, but, um, you know, our team's going to be focused now, and I think it's going to be a good season. As far as you go, uh, final question, just talk a little bit about uh, what's it like to, to sign your name on the dotted line and really now be a college athlete, especially on the highest level at the Big Ten. It has to be, you know, something that you've worked for for quite a long time. Yeah, I work my tail off, and, um, you know, a lot of people have helped me along the way, and uh, I'm, I'm thankful for all of their efforts, and um, hopefully we can just see fruition, you know, when I get up there, see some fruits of, of all that hard work and all the effort that people have put into to my basketball career. All right. Anything else you'd like to add, man? Thank you, Mom. I love my mom. I love my dad. appreciate everything they've done for me. And I, I can thank the Lord for you know, his many blessings on my life. So um, it's just going gonna, gonna to be a, a fun time up there, and uh, I can't wait to get up there. All right. Thank you, man. All right.